Hi, I'm Rachel with Cornell Farm and it's the first week of summer. It's going to be very hot this week, so we're going to bring you some watering tips. First, we're going to talk to you a little bit about watering your containers in the heat. So it's going to be very dependent on the size of your container and what you have planted in it. But you really want to check the soil. That's the best way to tell if you're going to need to water. So we're, and I'm looking at this pot here and it's still wet on top. So that usually means it doesn't need any water. If you see that it's dry on top, you want to stick your finger down into the soil to your second knuckle and see if you feel moisture or not. Usually you can tell if your finger comes out and there's still soil stuck to it, it needs water. Kind of like when you stick a toothpick in a cake and it comes out <laughs> mushy, then you need to fake it a little longer. So when you, they do need water, you want to make sure you water them thoroughly so that water penetrates the entire pot. So if I was going to water this pot here, I'd want to get all the way around it so that all the plants are equally saturated. And once I water, I want to check the base of the pot and make sure that a little bit drains out the bottom. Not a lot because we want to conserve water this time of year, so we don't want lots of water rushing out the bottom, but just enough so that we know that the pot was completely saturated. Hanging baskets are another one that are going to need quite a bit of water in this heat, mainly because they're usually in smaller pots and they get a little bit more wind since they're usually hanging kind of high. So what's important about hanging baskets is that you really let the water sink in. So I'll show you an example of one, the way not to water. So if you put too much water in there right away, it's just going to flow over the sides like this. So you want to make sure you keep your hose or with your watering can, put it on a lower stream so that it has time to actually seep into the hanging basket. And then just like our pots, we want to make sure we don't put too much water in there so that the pot doesn't, you know, drip for 10 minutes after wasting a lot of water into the ground. We want to use just enough. It's also important to water your plants in the ground properly. So a lot of people have watering systems where they run them maybe for three minutes in the morning, which isn't quite enough for most plants, especially in 100 degree heat. So if you're running a sprinkler, you want to make sure you run it for maybe like 20 minutes during the day. But if you're watering by hand in the ground, you want to think about what size of pot this plant would be in if it wasn't in the ground and water it that amount. So say if this would have been in a five gallon pot, you want to think about putting enough water on the plant to fill a five gallon pot. So, you know, just a, just a little bit on there won't quite be enough. And sometimes it's good to just put your hose at a small trickle like this and just set it near your plant and let it soak for maybe five or 10 minutes, depending on the size of your plant and how hot it is outside. All right, so if you don't have a drip irrigation system or an in-ground sprinkler system using an oscillating sprinkler great attached to a hose you just want to make sure you run it for long enough during the day that it can actually sink into the ground so like i said earlier some people only run it for a few minutes maybe in the morning but we usually run ours for about 20 minutes when it's going to be hot out like above 95 so this is what ours looks like and if you do it right you can get yourself watered a little bit too 